Hello DIYers! Are you looking for a weekend adventure? Look no further. Tile is the answer. We are going to walk you through everything you need to know about Tile 101. And yeah, we're amateurs, okay? We've never done this before, but we're going to give you the tips and tricks that we learned on our first tiling experience so that you can do the same in one weekend. Let's go. So to get started, you'll want to prep your surface so that the mortar bonds securely. You roll her a light coating of this primer and wait for a few hours for it to dry. At this point, if you were tiling a floor, you'd want to add a layer of insulation to help with temperature fluctuations, but this is only going to support laundry, so cracking isn't a huge worry. Next, you want to plan out your design. This part is really important because it will dictate the cuts you make later on with your tile saw. When measuring, make sure to account for these spacers. We used 1 8 of an inch, which is pretty typical. You can purchase these at any hardware or flooring store. Now is the time you really hope you did your math correctly. It's time to cut the tiles, the ones that butt up against the wall. We purchased this Ryobi wet tile saw for about $150, and it only took 10 minutes to assemble. We found it useful to cut about three quarters of the way through your tile and rotate it to the other end of your line. This way, the tiles didn't end up chipping as much. Now it's time to mix the mortar. This is what will cement your tiles and keep them secure. We only mixed half the bag with half the amount of water and it was perfect for a 4x7 area. We didn't need the whole bag, so don't let it mislead you. This is a grooved trowel that allows you to apply a thin layer of mortar. And this tool helps you scrape the mortar out of your grout areas so that grouting isn't a challenge later on. Start at one end of your project and move as quickly as you can because the mortar does dry fast. Apply to the underside of the tile and use the groove trowel to create lines down the back of the tile. When you place it back down on the surface, wiggle it from side to side. This really sets it to create a secure bond. Wait 24 hours for it to dry. We purchased this pre-mixed grout to make things more simple. We already mixed the mortar, which is a really messy process, so save yourself a step and buy pre-mixed grout. You press the grout down with a grout float tool at a 30 degree angle, be firm and work it into the grooves. Once it's all in the grooves, you're going to use a wet sponge to remove any extra grout. Remember to clean as you go because like I said, it's messy. <laughs> to be honest, I've always been intimidated by grouting, knowing that you had to have the grout float and use a certain angle when pressing it in. You know what? It didn't really matter. It's easier than you think. All right, now before you see the after, you gotta see the before. So this is where it all started. The ugliest laundry room of all time. This was our process. You can do it too. It doesn't matter what space you're working with. You just have to try. Even in small spaces like this, they can really benefit from a makeover. Falling in love with every corner of your home is absolutely achievable, especially if you like to do it yourselves like us.